Hello everyone and good morning. I say good morning because I work from home and I'm still in my pajamas. So today is the day we are getting rid of the burgundy hair. It is three o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. I am on my lunch so I'm taking this time to dye my hair with you. And we are finally done with the burgundy. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got my hair this color to start with, it is in my channel. I'll link it right here. But yes, we are finally going brunette. And we're just going to be a normal gal. I'll be using a permanent hair dye. It is dark cappuccino brown. And it is this one. Stick with me and let's see how it turns out. I am so excited to see what I look like with my natural hair color. Let's go. So we're dressed into our baggy shirt that we don't care about. Still in the jammies. And the countertop is white. So we got a newspaper to protect. So the mixing part took a lot longer than I expected. It took about, I'd say 15 minutes. And as time goes by, it gets darker, which was crazy to me. But that also told me that my dye was ready and it was mixed. And this is what it looked like. So I put my hair into two parts, top and bottom. And I started by dyeing the top. And this was because I thought that I didn't have enough dye, but I actually only used one of the boxes. So I didn't have to do the top first, but that's what I ended up doing. Also, make sure to protect your skin. I forgot to do this before. It is super important. You can use lotion or petroleum jelly. So I finally finished. It was very easy to apply. The dye is surprisingly strong. It stained my arm and my neck heavily. I made sure to wipe off all of the stains that I had on my neck before they stain permanently. So um, I look pretty clean right now, but my ears are a mess and even my piercings got dyed. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna put my hair up in a bag and I will wait for 20 minutes. So yeah. Now we play the waiting game. We'll see. This is the finished result. It is a lot darker than I anticipated. The product was really easy to work with. I feel like I have not seen any patches in my hair and usually when I go from light to dark, um, I'll catch some patches of the color underneath seeping through and I did not experience that at all. So it was a really good product and I totally recommend you guys using this. But yeah, overall it is really beautiful. It's a very dark brunette brown and I give it a 10 out of 10. It was a great experience and it was very easy to use and the instructions were very clear and I don't feel like it damaged my hair too much compared to other products that I've used in the past. Let me show you a little 360. And I apologize for the lighting. Um, it is a rainy day today, so I'm just using my ring light. But here is a video of what it looks like outside. But yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am planning on making another video of how I add 
peekaboo highlights with extensions. I've been holding off that look for so long and I'm so excited to do it. So if it's already uploaded, it'll be linked right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you stick around and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.